Dr. Omar Chabelsi from Tunisia. I practice in uh, Clinique Ophthalmologique de Tunis and I'm a veterinary surgeon. OCT has just recently found its way into uh, the operating theaters. Uh, it's actually the third generation of OCTs in theater. We started with the handheld systems, the portable OCTs, and then the microscope mounted OCT, and recently the microscope integrated OCT. And the new thing is that we have real-time 2D images with cross-sectional uh, view of the surgical field. It's currently marketed by several companies and you can watch the images on the screen or in the binoculars. Okay, although it's still a new technology, uh, it has many advantages. Uh, it helps to initiate delamination or segmentation in proliferative retinopathy. Uh, it helps to determine a safe plane to initiate membrane peeling and to complete removal of the epiretinal membrane or the ILM. In cases of, um, uh, in cases of failed macular hole surgery, you can determine the edge of previously removed ILM without the use of uh, any dye. In retinal detachment, you can detect uh, any subretinal fluid or PVR. It also helps to assess the macular status at the end of the surgery in cases where the uh, the pre-operative the pre evaluation is not possible in cases of vitreous hemorrhage. You can find a macular edema or a epiretinal membrane that you can treat right away. You don't have to bring back the patient to theater for a reoperation or an injection. Okay, like any new technology, it has uh, some limits. Uh, actually, the visualization of the, the interface between the instrument and the underlying retina is affected by the optical properties of the, the, the instruments. The, they are hyper-reflective, like, uh, especially the metallic ones, and you always have um, a back shadowing underneath the instruments. Uh, targeting the OCT field of view to the area of interest is difficult also. We do it with uh, the, um, the food pedal uh, of the microscope, so you have to concentrate on your surgery and then try to target it. It's not really easy to do that. Um, also remember it's a 2D uh, scan, so it's not really enough to guide for three-dimensional uh, movements. Okay, uh, in the future we need uh, OCT-compatible instrumentation, automated tracking and focus control, uh, software platforms to enhance speed and quality of the image acquisition, especially if we can have 3D images. Why not an OCT in geography? Uh, imagine if you'll be able to uh, see the retinal vascularization, the superficial and deep capillary network, the choriocapillaris. Uh, so by combining this uh, together, we should be able to see interaction between the instrument and the retina, or the instrument with beneath uh, the retina, and um, we will also uh, we'll have real-time image guided surgery if we have the 3D uh, and I think that will be the, t the future. Okay, I think the future will be the 4D microscope integrated OCT combined to the heads-up augmented reality with the 3D external screening uh, and maybe one day artificial reality in an immersive reality. Uh, using this technology, we can achieve a greater understanding of the intraoperative retinal morphological changes and help to prognosticate more objectively our surgical outcomes. By observing real-time instrument tissue interaction, emerging therapies such as gene therapy, uh, stem cell therapy will benefit from targeted image-guided delivery with confirmatory imaging of optimal placement. I personally think that uh, intraoperative OCT will be in the near future an essential tool for macular surgery, exactly like OCT is currently essential for macular pathology assessment.